So guys, I'm here with binary options trading on the packet option. Uh, today's strategy is nice strategy with the standard indicators, but it's popular, most of the favorites, but it's not that easy. I want to show you different situations. Uh, I want to show you how you need to use that. There is, I think, a lot of info about these two indicators, but again and again, it's better to check all the possible situations, how to use that and to see how to make just this decision, you know, just, I don't know, relying on all the info you can actually extract from the chart and indicators. Let's start. And just starting, I have something floppy on my nose. So here's the bet that I'm going to use for the first, the sum that I'm going to use for the first bet. Here's all the currency payers already sorted out with the biggest payout. You may see 94%, 92%. Sorry, I am a little bit distracted with the whole, uh, with the whole thoughts that I'm having about this strategy that I'm going to use today. And it's going to be the moving average and stochastic oscillator for us. And it's quite simple, you know, that's, and I am repeating that, that it's a lot of, Traders actually like both of the indicators and the stochastic oscillator and moving average. It is one of the favorite and most desirable combination on some simple charts, simple strategies. And sometimes this is, you know, if you want to be relaxing and have some relaxing trade without no surprises, you may use it because some indicators may in combinations may also be used may also be used and may seem quite easy, but it's not that, you know, perfectly standard for the market. And you may see with this stochastic oscillator now, it looks like crazy, but what actually here is quite important and it's gonna be easier when we zoom it up. This is 220 and 80, you know, like a channel between them, between these numbers. And if we are zooming, it is quite easier quite simpler, but with all the strategies, you know, theory, I'm going to start telling you the first part that we're going to have. And first case here for us, we are actually made our bet for an upward movement. Nevertheless, we are seeing some orange candles, but what we are actually seeing and I've been telling you that before on my other trading videos that if the stochastic oscillator lines just crossing each other, we are expecting the changes of the trend in most of the cases. And here, all these lines, these two lines are just, you know, in the upper part of the chart. So let's see how it's going to be working out. And after I'm going to tell you how and why it is correct or wrong in that case. And what we are seeing here, you may see some cross lines and it was the orange candle that we had before. And here, all these lines are just continual, almost, you know, moving flat. So we are expecting that it's going to be, you know, the same tendency that we are having. In that case, it's just the green candles and upward tendency. And now we may see that it's driving, you know, to get back. And I all the time telling you there's all these lines trying to get back inside of the channel. And we are, may see some orange candles, but it's already done for us and we have it as profit. And what we are actually having here. So I made this bad for a downward moment and even having this green candle. And I'm going to tell you why. First of all, we had this, you know, changing of the trend. We may detect that. It actually now you may see that it's also the changing of the trend, but I was in the position a little bit predicting and prediction, you know. And I'm gonna tell you why. Just because there was some signs that it's gonna be, you know, the highest level and these lines are gonna cross each other. And plus with the moving average, you may see sometimes when it's breaking, when it started just looking downward. And all combined here with the whole chart, you may see also just you, you need to see the whole chart is giving us the hint that it's going to be a downward movement. And it's actually high volatility, some small fluctuations, not perfect. And we are a little bit risky. And so the time frame here is a key, key thing. And we have like five seconds left here. But this huge orange candles giving us, yes, not only a hole, but as a result, profit. 
So let's go next. I told you before, it's not the easiest strategy. It is the strategy for those who just, who can be attentive. So here, the lines just crossed and it is trying to cross again and again, but I'm not expecting that to happen actually. I mean, with the whole, the trend of the tendency, because the moving average showing us that we are rising and all these lines, it was just below, you know, the slowest, this uh, support line. And we are expecting that it's going to get back. So we played here for an upward movement and we're going to have a result. Let's wait. And as I told you, just check all these green candles that is quite safe for that bad that we are having and all this stochastic oscillator line showing us that we are just in continuation the trend are going to be continuing continuing and we had it just as perfect so let's make it one of the last bets and uh, what i actually want to tell you more about the stochastic oscillator the higher, and please listen to it, the higher these two lines, the more chances that we're gonna get for a downward. And this is, you know, just in other words that, are t that I'm actually telling you that uh, all these lines are gonna get back to the channel. And the lower these lines, the more chances that the whole chart are gonna get upward. So here, the lines are quite high. It is just crossing and hitting this resistance line and we are expecting that it's going to be with this crossing the changes of the trend we made it for a downward movement and we see huge orange candles so let's check how it's going to be just in the end so and you may actually see the moving average it's still showing us a little bit crazy stuff but it's stochastic oscillator and with this strategy you know using all these two indicators you may not be wrong if you are perfectly understand the mechanism of the stochastic oscillator indicator and it's going to give you more and more reliable info than the moving average you know in the solid Here, just this moving average line showing us that we are just falling and falling, that the whole chart is just drastically moving down. And what about the stochastic oscillator actually? And as I told you, if it's, you know, this low, we have more chances that it's going to be, you know, an upward movement. But all these two lines, you know, combined with the moving average showing us in this direction, that it's going to be still continuation. These lines are like just Lad. So we trust in, you know, your inner feelings, all indicators, just making this bad for a downward movement and got to check it out how it's going to be. So here's just 10 seconds left of our last three bats over here. And this green candle is making me nervous, but I was right in time. Can you see that? Have you seen that? I was just so right in time. And I just got into that trend with this, you know, two, one of them, this tiny, tiny, tiny orange candle and got it as a profit. But in that case, the strategy was correct, but the timing was the king or the queen. It's done. So it's done. I didn't feel like it was just the fun or it was easy or it was, you know, just like flashing with the profits and stuff because there was a lot of analysis, there was a lot of what to tell you, how to explain to you and how I want you just to feel about the strategy and the market that you actually can see, you know, just through this strategy. Not the simplest one, but actually nice, reliable one if you know how to use that. I hope you like that. Give me feedback and all you know, all just, you know, all my trustable links just right here below this video or in my bio. So stay tuned.